It's a condition that affects half of all diabetics and Australian researchers are working on more effective ways to treat it. Nerve damage causes pain and numbness in the hands and feet and in severe cases infection, amputation, even death. This world first study is trying to detect the first signs of the disease to help develop new treatments. 69-year-old Bill Highfield has diabetic neuropathy or nerve damage that causes numbness in his feet. Walking is difficult. There's no pain, just frustration. I'm wor worried, about, worried about falling over all the time, so I, uh, I have to be very careful. Every step I take, I, I think, uh, is this it? You know, so it it's, makes me tired. There's no treatment and no way of picking up early signs of nerve damage. Researchers at Sydney's Prince of Wales Hospital are hoping to change that with a technique called nerve excitability testing. It's a technique that allows us to provide insights on how nerves conduct electrical impulses. It's fairly painless, it's non-invasive and it can provide very sensitive information about nerve function in diabetes. They hope to find out which diabetics are at risk of developing nerve damage by comparing healthy and altered nerve function. So far they've seen changes in nerve function in diabetic patients before they develop any symptoms. And what we're hoping is the fact that if we can detect it earlier, we can offer treatments before people develop very severe nerve damage. It's too late to help Bill Highfield, but he's happy to take part. If it helps one, two, three people uh, in, in future years, I'll have made a big difference, so it'll make me happy. So far, there are 40 diabetics in the study. Researchers are hoping to recruit 60 more. The study has already found that type 1 diabetics are more likely to have nerve damage than those with type 2 diabetes. The next step is to find out why that happens. The researchers hope they'll have the answer in three months' time. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News.